Hello, my name is Lena Shah and I'm a developer at Oracle working on the content management headless samples. Today I'm going to show you how to build a minimal sample in Flutter using Oracle Content and Experience as a headless CMS. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is clone this repository in GitHub. This is the Flutter minimal sample that is already set up to use Oracle Content Management. Let's go ahead and clone this repository. Copy the URL, then open up a command prompt and type in git clone and the URL. You can open this sample with a code editor of your choice. I will be using Android Studio. First, uh, install the dependencies for this project. Let's take a look at pubspec.yaml file. Here you will note a command called pub.get. Click on it. This will fetch all the dependencies for the project. The dependencies for this sample are listed in the dependencies section of this file. Let's also take a look at lib, config, and oce.file. This is a configuration file for the sample. Note that the config object stores configuration information. The server that is listed in server URL is a public Oracle content management server. The channel token will be used by Flutter to authenticate into our Oracle content management instance. This file also contains the names of the digital assets that will be fetched for the samples. Now that the dependencies are installed, let's try running the sample in an emulator. I had already configured an emulator using the AVD manager. Select the emulator, select main dot dot, and then hit run. Let's go over to our emulator here and see the sample in action. Here the loading screen renders for a quick second before the home page is rendered. There is a nav drawer that lets you navigate to the contact us page. The images shown here are obtained from the server. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code for this sample. All the source code for this sample resides in the lib folder. First, let's take a look at the networking folder and the content.dart file inside it. The REST API for content delivery provides access to published assets in Oracle Content Management. Published assets include content items and digital assets, as well as their renditions. We can now leverage the Oracle Content Management REST API to fetch content so that we can render it in our minimal Flutter application. This file, content.dart, has methods for connecting to the server specified in the oce.dart file. It uses the REST API to make a request and returns the response from it. For rendering the images, it also has helper methods to uh, retrieve the rendition for a specific asset. Next, let's take a look at services.dart file in the same folder. This file contains all the code to get the data for the application. Here you will find method that encapsulates a call to the REST API and returns the results back to the Flutter widget to be rendered. For example, the get app images method makes a REST API call to fetch the logo image the footer image, the home page image, and the contact us image. Next, let's take a look at main.dart file. This is a starting point for the Flutter app execution. Dart programs have an entry 
point called main, which is defined in this file. In this case, the main is calling a Flutter specific function called runapp, which takes in a widget as an argument. Here, the argument that is passed in is my app, which is a stateless widget declared in the same file. My app overrides the build method, which returns a widget object. Within the widget object that is returned, we define all the configurations on how the app should look like. Here we see that the home page, home field, refers to a loading screen, which is a custom widget defined in screens, loading underscore screen dot dot file. Loading screen is a stateful widget that defines a method called get data. This method makes a REST API call to fetch all the data for the sample. Once the data is fetched, it uses the navigator to route to the home page widget. Home page is a stateless widget that uses the data that was passed in and overrides the build method to render the layout. This widget is defined in home underscore page dot dot. Here we see that the build method uses another widget called screen layout that is defined in lib components, screen underscore layout dot dot file. This widget returns a scaffold widget, which includes a nav drawer among other properties. In nav drawer, which is defined in nav drawer dot dot, we see that there is a ONTAP gesture detector for the list tile. This causes a navigation to the corresponding widget when there is a click encountered. Let's revisit the minimal sample in the emulator once again. As you can see, this is a home page that is being rendered by home underscore page dot dot. A click on contact us in the nav drawer is handled by the widget contact underscore us dot dot. Well, that's it from my end. Thank you for watching this video about how you can use Flutter in conjunction with Oracle Content Management as a headless CMS to build and implement a minimal app. You can find more samples like this on our Headless Oracle Content Management documentation pages. Have fun building.